I don't know what happened there. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? All right, well, I guess it's my only place to go live nowadays. It's unreal. You know, I, uh, so frustrated about this. I guess I can't go live on TikTok anymore. I tried one, I started talking, and I lasted maybe two minutes and some community violation. And I didn't say anything. I don't even think I swore, really, to be honest with you. Um, maybe even, I don't think so. Uh, either way, whatever, screw up. Oh, really? I'm gonna pull on from me and you're 72 Mint Fury. That's smart. So, and you know, traffic sucks, whatever. I went to a family event today. Graduation party for my little niece. My favorite niece at that. And, and I, I don't know. What's wrong with this damn world, you know? Uh, people, uh, people just piss me off. I, I try not to let it get to me, but yeah, we're gonna do two more out of there. You know, people come up to me and, hey, what are you doing? How you been? What are you doing now? You know, you still doing that stuff? What stuff? You know, that, that uh, Patriot stuff, and the, you know, rioting stuff, or, you know, like DC stuff. And I'm like, yep, absolutely. I'm like, oh, thank you, you know, I wish I could do that. You know, I'm like, oh, 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 why can't you? Of course you can do it. Like, Pretty damn easy you can do it. Just get up and stand. And once you stand up, once you fight, once you speak your voice, you, you'll uh Yeah, you you're gonna find your voice and you're gonna learn you're gonna learn to stand. You're gonna learn. It'll be addicting. You'll never wanna sit again. You'll never wanna sit on the sidelines again. Um I promise you. I love it when they say they can't do it because you know they got family, they got kids, and I'm like that's why you should be doing it. Um, it just lately, more and more lately, almost weekly. Just, I'm not losing the faith that I'm not gonna ever sit down. I'm always gonna stand, but I just feel like I get a little stab in the gut. Ugh, you know, like. I feel people are just sitting more and more. Where are the Patriots at? Where are all them old school, old OG, old gangster people that did live videos back in the day when we started doing live videos? I don't know where any of them are at. Granted, I, I'm probably um, set up to where I can't see them. They're probably still around. I just don't even know, you know? But I'm sure there's some algorithm to keep me from seeing all my old bodies and all the old Patriots. Call me a conspiracy theorist. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. But you don't see three percenters and you don't see oath keepers. You don't see any of these people around anymore. You just, uh, it's like they've all disappeared, man. You know, they've all, since January 6th, It was hell for a lot of us afterwards. And I think a lot of us lost about everything. And I, and I think it became easier for a lot of people to just walk away. It was so, I don't wanna say dangerous, but just questionable. <laughs> That's, I don't really know how to put it, but it was rough still is rough. I still have people that recognize me and, and want to do me harm. I still get questioned. I still have people that message me. I, I, I still have people that watch me. You know, and it's not fun. You know, it's, it's really not. I mean, I accept the consequences for my actions. Do I agree with the consequences that came with it? No. But I'm here. I'm not done. I still go to events. You know, 
you know, people tell me sometimes that I go to events and they're like, like they were they were upset that I that I was there, <laughs> because, you know, God forbid someone sees gets a picture of me with them or. It's, it's sad that, that people at events here like today would be like, like oh yeah you're 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 so and so's brother that does all that um, and, and you're grabbing my arm you're you're that Trump supporter right you're that work for Trump and I'm like yep yep oh, thank you thank you appreciate it so much and I'm like hey no problem you know anytime you want to come with let me know I'll let you know when there's events oh I I, I couldn't do that you know um, damn just just kills me you know like i don't think people understand that we are truly so close to damn near losing this country and i don't think people are really getting it i don't think they really they're too wrapped up in mainstream media they're too wrapped up in ukraine and russia in my opinion of Ukraine and Russia is that Ukraine's the biggest child sex trafficking country, the biggest money laundering country, and, and the, the biggest, one of the biggest corrupt, just pieces of crap countries. There's nothing good about Ukraine. And for everybody to be like, think Ukraine, oh, the poor Ukrainians. What about the Ukrainians? Oh, oh big bad Russia just went in there and beat them up. No, no that's actually not what's going on. It's really not. You prove me one, what, send me one real, real video that you can really vet or article that shows that, and I'm not saying nothing's going on, that would be ignorant, but I don't think for one minute half of what they're saying is going on. Not enough for us to give them 80 billion and now another 700 million? Hell no. With the, with the way our country is right now and we're giving out 870 billion dollars? <laughs> no. That's a payoff. That's that's literally a payoff to Ukraine and every no. I mean, Putin's a piece of crap, just a scumbag. But I think he's putting his country first in a lot of ways. If you really think about it, uh, like he doesn't want all them chemical weapons labs on his on his border. And he doesn't want us to the crap out of his border. He's talked about what he knows that the U.S. has done. He's talked about it. He's been very open about it. They even exposed the U.S. And I hope he does. You know, but before then, what will happen? Will we have a EMP or a, a air nuclear assault that will, you know, implode right above the atmosphere or be, I don't know, the, the distance it would have to be that would literally wipe out all electronics and just more China than we've ever been ever and I think it's eminent I, I do I think it's absolutely eminent um, but the concerning part is, is there's just very few people to stand there's very people, few people that are going to fight. You know, a lot of people say, oh, no, the Americans will come out of the grass, come out of the woodwork. They'll come from all over. You won't even know where they came from to fight. I don't believe that for one minute. Everybody's going to be a trust in the plan, wait for freaking Trump to, to take over and fix everything. Wait for God to fix it. I'm with you on that one in a little bit. Uh, we, we have to do our part. We can't just give everything to Trump. You know, I brought it up when Trump was running. I love Trump. I worked for Trump. I love Trump. And I, I brought up how, well, what if Trump loses? People, man, I lost people on my social media pages. People would send me hateful messages. Oh, my God, how can you even say that? But I'm like, well, what if he does? There's no way, no, absolute no way will Trump ever really lose. Well, here we are. Now, and a lot of people are still... Trust in Trump and trust in the plan. You know, maybe Trump realizes that people aren't going to fight for themselves, <coughs> and that we need to learn to start fighting for ourselves. Because it's just not happening. People really aren't getting out in the streets. I mean, look at 
Italy, Germany, all these countries that have stood, got in the streets and filled their streets <laughs> to fight for freedom. Look at Canada for crying out loud. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, with the truckers and everything. Who would have thought Canada would have been like a <coughs> COVID? I don't know what that was all of a sudden. Who would have thought that Canada with all their truckers would have been like that? The poster child of freedom. Canadians. Well, I mean, who would have thought it? Come on. Let's be honest. Um, I, had one, I had a thumbs up and now I lost it. Oh yeah, I gave my little niece one of these hats. She wanted a pedophile hunter hat. Uh, check out your local uh, areas for, you know, the Child Protection League. They're all over the place. Get, get active with your Child Protection League. You're not gonna do anything for, like, political patriot. You can go and you can be active with the Child Protection League, and I guarantee secretly you're doing stuff against the oligarch. You're doing something against the rich. You, you're, you're fighting against people that are destroying this country. So yeah, Child Protection League, check them out. It's like, it's like all that cop somehow. But we need to get people awake. We need to convince people it's, it's not so scary to, to stand. It's not so scary to be a patriot. It's not so scary to speak your mind. It, 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 it's not. It's literally the way it should be. Thing. Come on. There you go. So, uh, yeah, move over like you're minded. You sick like you move over. I love it. They did. I love it when they're in the left lane. There's essentially two lanes. They're in the, well, they're in the fast lane. But 60. Now that now they just won't. hold it in, it just sucks, you know, literally, and, uh, just need to at least, you know, literally, and, uh, just need to at least put it, put it to words somewhere, you know, somehow, some way, into words somewhere, you know, somehow, some way, into, so, sorry, I was reading it, cold, cold, cold signs, but, uh, People need to start speaking up. People need to start standing and they just need to start getting active in small groups. Uh, not get active with like Oath Keepers or Proud Boys or anything. If you're enough a male and you're a strong alpha male, I absolutely should join the prod, your local Proud Boys. Hoorah. You really should. I'm a huge supporter of that, but I always will be. I don't care. For life. Literally, I miss those boys more than I can put to words. True American patriots. Just the most diverse group of people I've ever met around in my life. White people, old people, Puerto Rican, black, Cubans, Mexicans. I mean, just the biggest diverse group of people you've ever met around. Germans, Jews. Oh, shitload of Indians, Native Americans. <coughs> we got Chinese guys. You know, I, 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 
I hate it when people think that the Proud Boys are a racist group or they're just a bunch of white supremacists. Like, I would go to events and I'd be damn near almost the only white guy. Or I'd for sure go and then, they're, you know, all their wives are all, all brown, you know, Hispanic or Indian, you know, and I'd be like, damn, when do you guys just start marrying white women? And it's a joke, but pretty funny. Um, it's literally the, the most diverse group of people ever. And the biggest patriots. I love the problems. I love my boys. And I vote for life. Yo. I would. I would stand with those guys any day, all day. I'll give my life for those guys. Maybe I'm going to the hospital stab. Yeah. 